What's up, what's up, everybody? Art Masters just came out a couple hours ago, and there's already someone that has fully built, fully devil on, fully ruined up, and everything in Guardian level RTA. Let's take a quick look at Geogoon. I think his name is Jogun, or something like that. I'm gonna call him Geogoon, but I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm positive that I'm saying it wrong. Anyway, let's take a look at his skills. Let's see what he does. Just as a recap, he's the one that traps. He's got an AoE strip and attack power buff, and he also traps his enemies in a scroll. That's the most exciting thing that I'm interested in right now for him. He's got his first skill, decrease attack age. Okay, it's not like a sleep or a CC, like a stun or a freeze or something like that, but it's, it's something, right? It's better than like a skill does nothing. Uh, this one seals the enemy in the scroll, leaving the enemy out of the battle for a designated period of time. Duration of the seal increases according to your attack speed. If all enemies are sealed, the target with the least duration time will be released. This is the one that I'm really excited to see how long it actually leaves them in the scroll and how crazy this skill potentially can be, right? Because this is based on his attack speed, so you build him super duper fast. Maybe it's probably on Swift, right? Probably on Swift, snipe out a unit, like, immediately. Kind of the same thing that we're seeing with Daphnis, right? It doesn't kill them, but it takes them out of the battle, which could be, maybe in some cases, like, I'm thinking, like, Triana-wise, could be better even, right? So let's see. Uh, attacks all enemies to remove all their beneficial effects. Increase the attack power of all allies for two turns afterwards. And then he's got this leader skill. I mean, in certain situations, because he's got the attack power leader skill, plus he's got the strip and attack power buff. Like, you could bring him in. You could run him with a Zyros. You could run him with a Zyros, and then you just need, like, a defense breaker. You could even do, like, oh, man, what's a good AoE defense breaker that, like, defense? You yeah, Anavel, right? Because it multi-defense breaks, right? Or something that's like got a or, uh, uh, water phantom thief, something like that, right? So you could bring him in with that. So, uh, very, very interesting. Very interesting. Let's take a look at his battles. Let's see what this guy can actually do. Okay, so here's the guy on the left. How much you want to bet this gets taken out, just removed from the entire battle? How much you want to bet? No? Okay, so. Bans the speed lead. So he's hoping to outspeed, possibly with the... No, he didn't get the Geogoon. Okay. Got the strip. He went for the strip first. But then the monkey cut in. Okay. Damn you, monkey cuts. <laughs> Damn you, monkey cuts. Okay, so we, he decreased the attack age on everyone. Starts to kill things. Turns it into a little scroll! That's gorgeous. Oh my god. And there's a little there's a little gauge on the scroll for when he actually gets removed from the scroll. Okay, so he's back, he's back in action. Decreased attack age a little bit, but there we go. That's very cool. Very cool. But the Ganymede was very fast, so. He was able to get out of... <laughs> We're gonna see a Water Monkey solo. Then the Water Monkey solo because RTA is all about RNG, right? Okay, never mind, never mind, never mind this game. Are you... He's still going. He's like, I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna get this one. I'm gonna win this one. Okay, there we go. GG. Hey, I like the little scroll animation though. Match number two. Also, I like the way this guy plays. He plays very similar to the way I prefer to play, right? Like my Europe server account is not really the way I prefer to play the game. Okay, so leaves in the strip. So we have attack power buff. We have well, we have two attack power buffs actually. Magic exterminate. Ooh, he gets. E well, he doesn't get everyone. He doesn't get everyone. We decrease a little bit of attack age, but nothing too crazy. That's. <laughs> I feel like this is already game. So you just. This is how to beat him. Just outspeed him and don't let him get any turns at all. That's. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's how to beat this. Uh, this comp. Here we go again. Let's see it. We're going to see double beast riders. Yep. And we're going to see good old, uh, and he does not get, I'm so, I'm so happy he's not getting banned. So happy he's not getting banned. All right. So one strip, scroll trap, <laughs> completely takes it out. So there's, there's nothing she can really do to bring him back into the game. So let's see. Let's see how many... <laughs> There's nothing he can do. It's not like you can't cleanse it off. He's literally not in the battle. He's not in the battle at all. All that toxicity is no longer in the game. Okay. No turns, no turns, no turns. All those passives, all those toxic Antares passives that were just avoided completely. How amazing is that? So amazing. I love it. That's so great. 
Okay, so there's his first skill. And he's about to kill the Savannah. Savannah's all these beast uh, all these beast riders have become so meta. So very meta. Does he have the skill available yet? No, he's got just the uh, DPS skill. And she's just gonna come back. I mean, she's just gonna dismount. She's not even gonna die. Come back. He's very nice. I, I love that. I love that skill, man. Same comp. Same comp. Same comp. Yes. <laughs> Ragdoll. Oh, they're going up against four, baby. Oh, well. <laughs> same comp, but anything against Ragdoll, Hathor, Pater, right, is gonna be pretty, uh, pretty gross. Ragdoll's gonna cut in, though. Everything's on immunity. But still. So he really needed the, that to resist. Actually, no, he was gonna he was gonna have cut in with Peter anyway. So now what now what is he gonna do? Right? Uh, is he on violent or is he on swift with that thing? He's fast, and then it's just it's just the Hathor. Hathor doing Hathor, Hathor things. So Basically, CC. Don't let him get a turn to do his scroll and CC. Because he went for this, uh, this trip. But the Ragdoll. The Ragdoll helped everyone cut in, right? I mean, that's why that's why these crazy G3 top 10 G3 players are top 10 G3 players. Because they have the runes and they have the most ridiculously OP units. Same team? No, not same team. Not same team. Not using Lauren. Goes with the speed lead. To ban out the CR because they figured they were going to use the CR. So who moves first? Gianna moves first. Resisted though. Resisted. Tries to scroll trap, but did, was that resisted um, based on the fact that she has immunity? Or is that resisted based on just... I assume that it's based on the fact that she has immunity. But I haven't really... I mean, again, this is the first I'm seeing of this unit. So I haven't really gotten the chance to see like what the what the mechanics like if the immunity stops it completely or if it's um no no now i want to go back and i want to go look at all those other battles because i'm like maybe those other battles was like uh shows a little bit more but we got decreased tech but it's just gonna be hathor doing ha it's just gany hathor <laughs> gany hathor doing gany hathor things and then Leica comes in finishes that off and eventually it's just like just still gany hathor things right Yep, just Ganny Hathor. Ganny Hathor being Ganny Hathor. Hey guys, did you know that Ganny Hathor is still uh, still meta? Walls. <laughs> so toxic. Oh, so toxic. It's like not even a fun comp to play. That's the thing. Like, I feel like the people that play it are like, yeah, I just do this because I have to. I'm sorry. <laughs> like, <laughs> one of those things. All right, so we know what's gonna happen now. It's just they got Gany Hathor. Although Gany Hathor Leica, right? He's, he's now part of the Gany Hathor team. Actually, uh, a smart thing that Gany Hathor users are. Well, um, I was gonna say started to already pick the units that are counters to like counters to Amelia and Juno and Raccoonie and stuff like that. They're picking like the Barber in with their normal lineup. So uh, just something that I've noticed. Okay, let's see an actual spotlight of seeing what he can actually do. Weird comp on the right. I mean, kind of double immunity, right? But still. So, bans out the Bastard. So he's got the Strip. And then he's got the AoE Defense Break Attack Age Pushback. Does not get the Triana, but maybe he can snipe out the tree. He, he does get the snipe out on the Triana. But she does damage based on her attack speed, and she's got an attack power buff plus damage based on speed. Oh my god, I love that little scroll, man. I love that little scroll. GG. I <laughs> love the fact that it turns into a scroll and just takes them out of the match completely. Alright guys, that's it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I just wanted to get this out as soon as possible to show what he can do. Very cool. Very excited about him. Hopefully we get to see... I mean, of course we're going to get to see some more out of it. He puts a unit in a scroll and then they do nothing until they eventually just come out of the scroll. It's pretty awesome. Anyway, uh, that's it for this one. I just really think that that whole mechanic is cool. It's something different we haven't seen. And it takes the unit just out of battle, which is awesome. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys are excited about these new units just like I am. I will see you as always in the next one.